Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Militaria. Today we're going to be looking at the grenade that took the place of the Soviet RPG-43 grenade and just kind of uh, looking at the next generation of Soviet anti-tank stick grenades. Uh, the Soviets really love their stick grenades and uh, you really don't find an American equivalent of these. Um, these are from a couple of different countries, uh, the examples here, and we'll just kind of go through them quickly. They, they do work pretty much the same as the RPG-43, which uh, you can find other videos that I have done on. And uh, first of all, we've got a typical Soviet RKG-3 grenade here. This is actually a rubber practice example, and so it's just basically one piece of metal and rubber to uh, sort of demonstrate throwing and kind of familiarize new recruits with how you, these work. This one does have the uh, spoon handle, which we'll take a look at, which are kind of an interesting part of these grenades. Um, this one, this black one here, is actually a trainer. These this is uh, called the UPG-8, and this would have a small spotting charge in it, and it's weighted to be the same weight as an actual live grenade. And again, it's just got a small spotting charge in it, so you can mark where you threw and know how well you did. These, like the RPG-43, are very heavy grenades. They are hard to throw very far. I believe that you can get about 50 to 80 feet with them with a good thrower who knows what he's doing. And the lethal range is, I think the instant lethal range is about seven or eight feet with a danger range of about 150 meters. So you definitely need some cover after you have thrown one of these. However, they have a massive warhead and they can penetrate about 125 millimeters of rolled homogenous armor because they are a shape charge warhead. And we'll take a look at one of these. This is actually a uh, Yugoslav version of the grenade. And the Yugoslavs called theirs the BRK M79. And that's what this translates to in Cyrillic here. And this I actually got this so it will come off easily. You can see in there, the explosive obviously is gone, but this would be the cone, or the cone head for the shape charge, which would focus the uh, explosive energy into the tank cavity or the part of the tank that it's gonna be hit hitting. And uh, it's gonna basically punch through with the force of the explosion and everything's going to be directed onto a very small area of the tank and it's going to be molten metal that's going to go into the tank and hopefully disable the crew, hit an ammunition rack, hit who knows and just knock everything out. But the way these actually work is kind of interesting. They're very much like the RPG-43. You would pull this pin here and then this safety handle, which you can see here, actually goes around both sides of the grenade. So you hold the grenade like this, pull your pin, get rid of your pin, and you throw your grenade, and the safety handle comes loose. And what happens then is it actually unlocks a small parachute inside this handle, and that will deploy and much like the fins, the cloth fins that the RPG-43 has, it will deploy out and slow and stabilize the head in flight. And then as it falls toward the ground, falls toward the armor, it tries to get it to about 90 degrees so that you have a good clean contact with the tank or whatever armored vehicle you're throwing this at and get maximum uh, effectiveness. Um, essentially, these need to be thrown and you need to seek cover. Uh, like I said, you 
you have to be fairly close to your target so they do take a fair amount of courage to use at least in my opinion um they are very much an out outgrowth of the rpg 43 and they are still in use uh i do know that in Iraq and I believe possibly even Afghanistan and other parts of the Middle East, they do show up routinely and they were used against uh, U.S. soldiers. I wouldn't be surprised if there are uh, examples being used right now in a lot of the Middle East and probably the Ukraine. So they are uh, still very much on the modern battlefield. And this is a Chinese example and the Chinese called theirs the Type 3. So this is just a standard Chinese version. Unfortunately, getting inside these and getting the little uh, parachute to deploy and kind of show you that is really, really, really tricky. And there's all kinds of little springs and parts. And I'm not really big on pulling pins on grenades, even though I know they're inert. If everything is together, I like to try and leave it together. But you can see your uh, Chinese markings here on the head. Unfortunately, I do not read Chinese, so I cannot translate that for you. But like I said, this is called the Type 3. So it's very, very similar to the Russian version. And uh, it just kind of shows that the RPG-43 design and the anti-tank stick grenade design was very much ingrained in Soviet and uh eastern bloc and really just communist consciousness and used by a lot of them um, as i said you know you pull your pin hang on to this get rid of your grenade this will fly off and then your uh, parachute will deploy which also causes a drag sensation on the grenade which then arms it and as soon as this hits anything solid it's going to go off there is no time delay fuse or anything like that it is uh just throw it and it's going to go off so i uh, hope you hit something hard and and hope that uh you get through it but um just kind of an unusual grenade. You don't see a lot of these and they're a little bit uh, hard to find here in the States. So thanks for watching. And as always, remember to like and subscribe.